quick. So I got the uh, new brakes uh, installed uh, with a little help from Moose Rides, Turbo Turbo Moose. Uh, just to just to brainstorm, man. And it actually, man, I had been working on it all day, meaning I had it all set up, but uh, right away. But um, I just couldn't figure it out, man. I couldn't get it to do it. So when you have, uh, so what you're going to do is you connect this, obviously, on here. Uh, you'll open your reservoir cap. Your um, brake line will screw in with these screws. You'll have the two washers that come on the screw. You put one on each side of your uh, uh, banjo. Um, tighten that up. You'll run your brake line down. Uh, come down to your caliper and what I had to do with my caliper bracket is uh, I wish I would have put my uh, Here let me exit out and put my flashlight on. All right, so what I had to do with my bracket you see how close it is here um, But anyway uh, is shave this down a little bit. I guess for the RSF. I don't know if uh, Turbo Moose or Moose Rides had to do that um, but um that's what I had to do. I had to shave both of these down to make it to where it was a perfect fit. In doing so, uh, this piston uh, retracted into the caliper reservoir. So my pads were wide apart. They were never like squished together. So uh, I hooked up this brake line, same, same thing, the two uh, seals on either side, and uh, filled up the oil, did the... Um, you know, got the air out of it, bled it, bled it. Um, I did not do this at the time, but I still was not getting any grab or anything like that. No pressure, no nothing, but I was showing as it was filled, right? Uh, loosened this first, saw that there was oil leaking out, retightened and then it. When I, so what I did is I went and I pushed this up to where this, because on this, this pad is connected to this piston. So I pushed it up to where I could see the piston. And when I did that, I guess some of the oil filled in here that was in this line and I saw that that now it wouldn't retract like it was before it was retracting when there was no oil in it so now it, it wouldn't retract so then I went and did the same thing again I even uh, loosened this a little bit just to make sure that uh, oil was coming out uh, did the same deal again until I was happy with the uh, oil in it and the pressure and sealed that back up and everything was all good man so i'm going to be testing it out i'm you know just turning it on getting it on number three and just revving it and then uh hitting the brake it's just solid bro it's just solid so i know it's going to be dope and it'll give me a little bit more confidence in my wheelies because i lost a little bit of confidence when i had that fall man let's just be real um and I had to get rid of it. I had to get the uh, upgrade going. And I'm pretty happy yeah, with it. I'll figure it out, man. It's a 180 uh, millimeter rotor. I'll put everything in the description. Uh, this was a suggestion from uh, Moose Rides, Turbo and Moose. And solid. Yeah, I'm digging. I only did the one side for now, though. I only did the one side for now. Hopefully, y'all can hear me. I'm wearing my headphones. So I'm confident when I do the front and I'm confident if I ever have to do this again or use these brakes again or any other type like it, uh, I'm confident in it now, man. Uh, I spent a lot of time on it and now I know it. I gotta get on my knees. Nice. All right, come a little closer, show it up, up there. Can you show the mechanism? We'll do it a couple times. I get a Pretty nice. Nice. Yeah.